Welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny, this is Beth, and we are here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, actually not Minneapolis, Maple Grove, Minnesota, at my son and daughter-in-law's home, where they just moved to a new home here in Maple Grove. And we thought we would take you on a very quick overview tour of their new property. Beth is excited to be gardening in this big new space. Let's come with us and let's take a look around Mike and Beth's home with Juliet, who needs help. Let's go help her. Good job, Juliet. Is that your chair? Yeah. Okay, so Beth, you have this new home. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It's on a cul-de-sac. I'm gonna back up a little. So here's their new home. It's on a cul-de-sac. It's gorgeous. It's got uh, about a half acre, did you say? And so their yard is kind of pie-shaped. goes back this way and goes back that way. And so it's kind of a trapezoidal pie-shaped situation. It's got a beautiful honey locust tree here in the front yard and a lovely shaded front yard with a lovely two-year-old sweet, sweetie pie. Where are you taking your chair? Right there? Okay. So show us around your front yard, Beth. Sure. Uh, the home was built in, I should know this, 96, 98? late 90s and so we think most everything here is original uh landscaping probably put in by the developers uh so we have a garden bed with lots of rock there's lots of rock in the neighborhood i as a gardener just like the rock you can't play <laughs> in rock <laughs> you have to work in rock so getting rid of rock and replacing with mulch will be a very long job mm -hmm. that we'll be doing for years mm -hmm. of course but um, we have some old original nine barks that are sad that may not stay, at least get a hard prune and get the dead out. We have barberries, we have spireas, we have, I think some kind of spruce and then some lilacs. Junipers probably. Junipers. Yeah, you're right. Um, and these arbs are yours too. Yes. And the arbor, uh, arborides are, are, and those are, I think the neighbors have said like eight so mm -hmm. not original but mm -hmm. we're put in for privacy mm -hmm. um and yeah so really about where this bed starts is where at this point we still have a lot of sun during the day uh into a little patio space and then the front part of the grass stays pretty shaded by this honey locust tree and then over here you have a bed and then there's an island bed here with yeah. lots of plants coming from other places including your old home, your mom's garden, and my garden, right. and probably a nursery or two. Yes. So, is there anything planted in here? There's a hosta. tiny little hostas living uh -huh. here, and I think that's it. That's Everything right. else are pots sitting. And yeah, things that either I don't feel like I've seen in garden centers, and I got from specialty garden sales through the Arboretum or Master Gardener programs some coral bells that I wow. bought very late in the season last year for like, I think these cans of coral bells were like $4 a plant uh -huh. because they were on clearance. Oh, they're gorgeous. Well, that's worth a try. Absolutely. To see if it'll live and transfer. Um, yeah, just a, a handful of other things from my mom's home, uh -huh. our old home, and from Jenny's home. Do you think some of these will be planted into this bed? or I haven't really sure. thought about it. The thing, the kids are in the front yard more often than not, so whatever goes in here needs to be ball proof. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball, baseball, kickball, softball, yeah. all the balls. So, you know, hardy hostas probably will end up up here. Yeah. Maybe it becomes a hosta yeah. variety. Yeah. And then over on the other side of your driveway, there's a little bed and a tree, but you, you say your neighbors care for that bed. Yeah, the, the neighbors are taking care of that. Uh, but great color in, in that bed with the lilies at this time of year right now. Yeah. Well, let's take a peek around the side yeah. into the back. We're looking at the garden, the flowers. Spirea, and you said these are lilacs these here? Are probably Korean lilacs. Okay. Um, this one too, and they bloomed really nice, really fragrant this mm -hmm. spring. Uh, I guess, not spring, it was probably early June. Okay. Um, and yeah, they, you know, they don't last super long, but they sure do smell good. Sure. 
Um, and then this is a burning bush. A burning bush. Yeah. And then these are viburnums that we didn't see green at all uh, when we moved in at the memorial. But we'll have to watch them next spring and see what they do. Yep. And then we have a gorgeous fence. Beautiful fence. Nice Beautiful six fence. foot tall. Maybe seven feet tall, actually. I don't know. No, six feet tall. Vinyl. Beautiful. And the piece de resistance. This backyard. I can see for miles and miles. This backyard is so gorgeous and such an opportunity. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> A little overwhelmed, but I, you know, it's a 20 year, or, you know, 30 year garden. We plan to be here a long time. So this is a microphone so that they can hear me and you. They probably hear that too. I'm going to let you go. Okay. So you said it's 210 feet across the back. Yeah, I think that's right. So 70 yards wide. And then it looks like it's about... I don't know. Do you know the depth of it? I don't know. Something like 50 feet easy. 50 to 60 feet deep. And it is pie shaped, so it has an angle this way, and then on the other side is an angle. And then there is a hill on the back corner with a drainage uh, swale there that needs to be preserved. So you're discussing ideas for what to do with that back hill. Um, but no decisions yet, other than probably bird lover, native yes. type. Bird, yeah. birding kind, kind of, of shrubs bird, and trees bird paradise on the back hill maybe. yeah and then this is a former play space that's full of sand dogs weeds and grandpas <laughs> dave's pulling the weeds and there's lots of moss in there yeah so if you wanted to do any sort of craft things with mossy pots or something lots of source material <laughs> <laughs> and then behind the fence, there's about 15 foot easement, which has all these beautiful trees of different kinds, some evergreens and some deciduous. And then a beautiful um, little, this becomes shadier and shadier as the day goes on. Um, I guess we didn't say, but this is east, Correct. right? This is, yeah. Straight back is north, north, east, and west. So the sun comes up right here. And at, after about noon, it's about 11 a.m. right now, but as soon as sun gets past noon, then this garden becomes an afternoon shade bed. And, um, and then under the deck is shady space as well. And then pretty much everything else is full sun, right? Sun, 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 sun. sun and it's sun, so sun. different than the last garden where <laughs> we were fighting the woods and... And then shade in the, the front shade yard. with it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, like... I don't know what to do with myself with all my options for flowers and vegetables and it'll be so much fun. But also, you know, like, it's like, wow, we have a lot of sun. We should plant a tree. Like, it's yeah. hot out here. Yeah. Not today, but uh, most summer days are very, very hot. You <laughs> stinker. You And as you can see, there's an arbor in place on the patio right now um, that's going to be placed here in the garden somewhere. Ish. Here. somewhere around this space and so you know the sky's the limit with a big open space like this so yeah. general thoughts what are your general thoughts about the garden so far well, four weeks in four weeks in uh i mean limitless possibility right i had a lot of fun and i'm still having fun you know taking an overhead view and with my ah. Apple pen, just like drawing bed designs. Yeah. Like what could be done where for forever. So that's really exciting. Really? Really? And um, yeah, like I think the like the the story overall is like excited, overwhelmed, limitless potential. <laughs> and yeah, just knowing that it, it can be it, it will be a lifetime, a, a journey Absolutely. of making lots of fun things. And Absolutely. That's, that's also really exciting to just know, like, oh, yeah, we have our roots down here. And what we make, we will enjoy for a long time if things all go according to plan. That's so true. And probably what I've been dreaming about the most with all this sun are roses. 
I love rose plants. My mom, uh, when I was growing up, had tea roses, which, you know, we would bury every year. And oh my God, my mom worked so hard to get these beautiful fragrant blooms. And I'm not really signing up for that, <laughs> but I do love roses. And so having like a rose walk where the shrub roses can shine and have their own variety and just be a, like a really pretty little cottage garden space is really what I've been getting excited for and want to start on this year. Mm -hmm. uh, other plans with a garden this big will probably wait for other years. Yeah, well, with the rose walk in mind. Are you going to play with the microphone? No. Are you sure? <laughs> With the rose walk in mind, so you've got the gate here and you're imagining this arbor yes. will be placed somewhere, here. somewhere in this space. And then create a path from the gate through the arbor and that being a rose peony nepeta walk. Between the gate and the arbor. Between the gate and the arbor. Nice. And then a path to the patio and then a path to this whatever Dang. this becomes. <laughs> the play space. play space. We're imagining that the that will somehow be morphed. Will be morphed into something. And in the short term, at least some of the time, it makes a good kind of non-grass space for vegetable gardening. Yeah. Or in my head, it's like, oh, I don't have to pull up grass there or pull up rock. Right. Uh, so easier to get going. Right. It's full of sand, so you'd have to add some compost or something. Yeah. So... I'm thinking it's kind of the big fall project will be digging up a layer of sand, putting down maybe cardboard clippings. Maybe removing the railroad ties? Maybe removing the wood because why is it that safe? <laughs> I'm imagining they had a slide coming down yeah. in the little kick out in the front. It's also, like, the lights. Yeah, it's bizarre. It, it is bizarre. So, but, so you've got a start. You've got some roses here, and you've got some nepeta to start. But I'm thinking, looking at the space, Beth, you don't have nearly enough. Well, that's a great <laughs> problem to have. <laughs> More space than you, than you have plants for, but that's a perennial problem. Ha! Play on words intended. And some peonies that you brought over from other yeah, places. Yeah, the peonies I'm really excited about. Some are from my mom's mom's house, so really heirloom, right? Like plants to mm -hmm. be able to share. Mm -hmm. Some from family friends. Mm -hmm. And then one from our old house that was kind of hiding in the shade and had never really bloomed. And I had moved and it put out one bloom this year. So mm -hmm. kind of fun to bring those things with us. And this is another burning bush here, probably? Yeah, it's going to go yeah. away. Yeah. And yeah, here is kind of, I don't know, in my head, like, Pagoda Dogwood is the one thing yes, I'm thinking. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Gorgeous. So. Well, Beth, thank you for showing us around your new home and new garden properties. I'm sure we'll be seeing more of Beth's garden as it develops over the years. I'm super excited for you guys to have this beautiful home, beautiful garden, lovely place to raise your kids and uh, have your family grow up happy here. So yeah. welcome to your new home and uh, you guys come on back and maybe we'll see more of Beth's garden <laughs> as it develops. Thanks for joining us. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Later that day, we got to work digging out the sod to create the beginnings of Beth's rose walk. So we got the arbor staked into the ground and two 15 foot long beds that are each, uh, they ended up being about four or even five feet wide, uh, sod dug out and then the next day all the plants went in and we got it mulched. So this is the beginning of the rose walk, the beginning of the dream of the garden in the backyard. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you enjoyed the video. We'll see you again soon.